Karibu tena mtazamaji kama nilivyokuambia awali ni naye mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili si mwingine ni Baton King natumai kwa umepata kusikia kazi zake ama kazi yake kuhusiana na mziki kibao chake ambacho mimi kwa kama lizu wanapenda usizunguke chini lakini kunavyo vingine vingi ambavyo wewe pia naamini kuwa vinakubariki na wakati nikawa nikisikiza story yake nikajua kuwa mwanzo wako hata uwe namna gani it doesn't matter provided umemwachia Mungu kuandika the rest of the history karibu ukasema baada ya mama kufariki maisha yalikuwa magumu zaidi hata baada ya aunt yako kukuahidi kwenda kuishi naye maisha yalikuendelea kukuwa magumu ya yeah, ilikuwa ngumu sana ilifika point mpaka Uh, nilikuwa siruhusiwa hata kujifunika bedsheet ya white. Nilikuwa napewa za brown. Kwa nini? Uh, unajua mtu akipoteza mzazi unakuwa dunia ni kama yani uko peke yako so hakuna mtu anakuvalue. Alafu pia toki tesa. Kuna wengine pia wa they value people. Yeah and I know but then again pia unapata una ya kwamba mtu anaona hata kikufanyia nini hakuna mtu akukutetea. Mm -hmm. Like ndio Mungu atakutetea but unajua anataka ile mtu atam You know, Sasa watu wanakufanyia hivi ni your relatives. Yeah, ni watu tu my relatives tu. Uh, na nikakuta kugundua ya kwamba uh, mtu ambaye hata anaweza kukusaidia kwa life yako. Si necessary leo ni leo nyumbani kwako, sio wewe. Ah, ah. Watu wengi ambao maybe hata huamini hua, ama huoni ni kama watakusaidia. Mm. Those people ambao wanaweza kukusaidia ni kweli. So ni kwa Eldoret ikakuwa hivyo matosa yakakuwa mingi. My sister naye pia akachukua na relative mwingine. Mm -hmm akaenda akapitia tena mateso akakuwa anabeba muziki anafanya nini in short walikuwa wanataka ni kwa kuwa nyinyi mlikuwa umelelewa in a certain class mm. kuwaonyesha hiyo imeisha mm. this is why you belong or maybe peer just unconsciously walikuwa wanatufanyia hivyo kwa sababu walikuwa na assume now you know we are not part of the family mm -hmm. so unaonekana ni kama wewe ni mfanyikazi mm -hmm. you know you, you, like you don't have rights in that family mm -hmm. so maybe that's why mashara kwa alianza kubadilishia so, wapi uh, uh, now nikatoka eldoret kabini kujua kwa anti yangu mnaitwa Judith. Mm -hmm. Yule mwenye tuko naye mamangu akiwa mgonjwa, mm -hmm. amekuwa msaada mkubwa sana kwa life yangu. Mm -hmm. So nikakuja kwake and then nikakuwa nimemaliza IT uh, mm -hmm. college. So nikakuja kwake akaniingiza kwa shule mahali fulani, nikakuwa mwalimu and trained teacher. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa nafundisha computer na English. Mm -hmm. So nikakuwa napata 2500 per month aika kwa na saidia saidia kidogo <laughs> then my sister nimekuambia kwa ameteswa naye pia ametoroka mm -hmm. ameenda akaolewa tu na mtu ambaye hata kwa amepanga mm -hmm. so then nikiwa kwa hapo kwa my aunt nikaanza kutafuta boss wa mwangu mm -hmm. nikitaka nzaidi at least nipate kibarua mm -hmm. cuz lazima mwangu alikuwa amefanya kazi kubwa sana kwa nyumba yake mm -hmm. na nikona at least anaweza kuwa na moyo wa kunisaidia mm -hmm. kwa sababu watoto wake so uh, nikampata mm -hmm. akanipatia connection mm -hmm. nikapata kazi mm -hmm nikaenda kufanya kazi huko Mlolongo mm -hmm. there's a company iliko huko yake yeah, okay. noti yake okay. ilikuwa DHL but it was in uh, fanya na safari kwa yeah. so nikafanya fanya kazi baada ya kunipa unajua nikiwa shule alikuwa anasema nataka kwenda kwa mm -hmm. nataka kwenda mm -hmm. but then after getting the job mm -hmm. uh, nikafanya ni for like two months mm -hmm. uh, one day tu akaniambia I'll be leaving this country for good. Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa mm -hmm. kwa very worried because now Akio Pali was my godfather. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa you know niko job najua unajua kuna mtetezi. But uh, true to his word mm -hmm. alienda. Mhm. Mm job ikaribika. Baada ya hiyo job, job eh kapoteza hiyo job. Mm -hmm. Nikaanza kufanya kazi industrial area. Mm -hmm. Life ikakuwa ngumu sana. Mhm. Mm Tunabaka kulipa nyumba. Mhm. Mm Hatunateseka. Nika join church no longer a bishop mala. Mhm. Mm Uh, na nashukuru sana mara nilipa opportunity. Uh, nikakuwa na trainee wa nika join praise and worship because mm -hmm. I was a singer mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. So nika join praise and worship. My teacher of praise and worship anaitwa Josephine. Mm -hmm. Akaanza kunyo. So every time alikuwa anaimba, akitan nyuma ananipatia microphone. Akimba akitan ananipa. I didn't know God was communicating. Because mm -hmm. haku kaa for long. Mm -hmm. I'll train for like 8 months na yakakufa. Wow. <laughs> yani everybody nilikuwa najaribu kutegemea anatoka walikuwa anadiskonectiwa in a certain way i think god wanted to tell me something that uh, 
I needed to depend on him and not yes, on me. Like the Bible says, uh, I'm taking me one of them. I'm a, I'm a new one. Mm -hmm. God didn't want me to Why be cast. Um, majority, I'm a most of the times, you know, I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Because I'm just a mom. So anybody who looks like Anes and say, dear, will give we'll bank my hope on that person. Mm -hmm. But then God had a different uh, view. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a new one. It's different. Mm -hmm. So I can pass. Then I took over the responsibility of training, yep. yeah. of being the leader of praise and worship. Mm -hmm. Nikali couldn't hand over the mantle to me. Mm -hmm. So when she passed on, I took over. So one day, Nikiko Kansani Naimba, I was supposed to report to work, mm -hmm. but then I was supposed to leo I was job to end the church. Mm -hmm. So Nikiko to stage Naimba, I was to Mambo Sawa Sawa. Mm -hmm. Mambo Sawa Sawa. There is a guy named Hezron Imanishimwe. Mm -hmm. He's a Rwanda. He's a Rwanda. Burundi. a Rwanda. 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 Burundi. Mm -hmm. Rwanda. Burundi. Mm -hmm. Rwanda. Rwanda, mm. yes, from Rwanda. Mm. So this guy had me sing mm -hmm. before we were in church. I'll call again mm -hmm. So when he came in, I came and I came to him and I came to him. I wanted to be with 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 him. Do you have a song? I wanted to be with him. I wanted to be with him. I wanted to be with him. I studio. I wanted to be with studio. I did the first songs. I was going to be Then I was going to be with him. Though I didn't know him. I wanted to be with him. It was a... Sana, sana. He did a... He played a very big role in my life. Mm -hmm. So when I uh, mm -hmm. there's a day I came to pick up a kwa tailor's shop. Man, I kwangu steam and buckle come with at that time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I came to pick up a pass. Then that time, I came to GBS. It will come to to GBS. Mm -hmm. So there's a song I came to sana. Every other time, no. Ni siza me yesu unioko. Every time and literally, life yangu ilikuwa na zama. So I really liked the song because it was communicating. It was a minister too. So I went, I got a CD, I got a CD, I got a number, I got a CD. I was like, I want to get a CD. I was like, I want to get a CD. I was like, I want to get a CD. I was like, I want to get a CD. I was like, I want to get a CD. I was like, I want to get a CD. Akamwa kuni peleka studio kwa itara, so niki na niki jaribu kutafuta pesa ndio tulipe studio. Akakuwa na toka kwa kiana ni chukua kani peleka studio tu kafanya usizungu kwa kamaliza. So tuki after kufanya sa the audios fuz akani sa idea tu kare record na after kumaliza kure record nika kuwa nika panga kama tia kuni sedia kufanya video kuzi then job ilikuwa misha kumpita. Nika panga kama tia watu thirty. Kusaidia kupanga launch. It was literally a haram. Beni vinyo tu singesema ni haram. So nika 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 ijaru kuitafutia jina upo. Nika ita launch. So watu kwa tu kupanga nao. Three weeks to the event. Nika ito na chairman, vice chair, treasurer, water officials. Kani yambi a button. We are sorry. Hatuzi ndele na ikamit. Wakariza ni what? There were issues with the pastor at church. Because when you come, you come with issues. So you come to join pastor to my new church. So now their pastor can't be. They cannot continue supporting. So you come. They are talking about your committee. So you are talking about the chairman, my new vice. You come to meet after forty guests. You come to idea. You come to a door. Mbaka nikuwa nijipanga na life na sema, ah, mbuse na nizani pati ya kambao, hivi ya ni 20k, huya na kawa 10, huya na kawa 5, nika sema, hi launch, at most album nizwa shoot na 8,000. So nikipata 400,000, hi 3, to 20, ni ya kujipanga. Kujipanga na life. Little did I know. So on, arambe, ah, launch nikuwe kwe Sunday. On Friday, walikuwa 40. 37 of Kata Kushikasi. 37 out of 40. Well, that's only check it because after there is a time singing some my story, Niki Cheka. But I've gotten over it because God has taught me so many things. And that's why I'm open to Kwambi Amtu. Who say it again? I'm telling you, in your camera, Cindy. That's why it again. Now, um, uh, on Sunday morning. Wale watatu, so nilu kwa 40, 37 wali kata Friday. Sunday morning, wale watatu wali pick Friday. Sunday morning, wali kata kushika. Nani siku ya lunch? Siku ya lunch. So nika pigia pastor tumaini, nika ambia dadi, watoto wali kata kushika. Sima kani ambia my son, ato sijali. Njo, nitakulea. Kwa vyo vyo te vile, hata kwa damu nitakulea. So nikenda nikangukia pastor mwingine ya po imaradaima. Anaito Reverend Joseph Maina na mshukuru sana wa full gospel. 
akanipatia opportunity nikafanyia launch kwa hiyo church Mungu akasaidia mm-hmm. tukapata pesa ya kufanya launch mm-hmm. Aya, ya kufanya video. video so tukafanya usizunguke usizunguke ni kibao ambacho mimi napenda na nitafurahia yes. ukikiimba live <laughs> usizunguke mm-hmm. so tukafanya usizunguke usizunguke zunguke chini ye, ukiuliza watu wanasema nini usizunguke zunguke chini ye, ukiuliza watu wanasema nini panda juju Mulize Mungu anasema nini? Panda juju. Mulize Mungu anasema nini juu yako? Yoka. Nikuli <laughs> <laughs> mbali hapo nakubaliana na wewe. Yes. Uliza tu Mungu anasema nini? Mm. Kusiana na maisha yako baada ya usizunguke chini. Mm, move on na maisha ya music kama uliachia katikati ama No after sunke nimefanya uh, Mungu akanisaidia sana mm-hmm. tulikuwa na pastor Tumaini kanisani mm-hmm. so uh, nikakuwa youth leader pale church mm-hmm. na tumeendelea sasa hivi kwa kanisa naitwa Voice of Hope pale Sokimao uh-huh. but pia mimi mwenyewe Mungu akanisaidia sana nikaanza ministry mm-hmm. ya young people inaitwa Eternal Life Worship mm-hmm. Ministry mm-hmm. ambayo tuko na it's very wide it's worldwide mm-hmm. tumefanya events kubwa kubwa hapa Nairobi tumefanya mm-hmm. Mombasa tumefanya uh, pipeline Santon tumefanya Kapsa bed, okay. tala kangundo, okay. and we are still doing more. Uh, tunashukuru Mungu sana mani imekuwa poa sana. Mm-hmm. Then through that ministry pia tumeanza fellowships every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Maana tuliona kupanga event inakuwa too long mm-hmm. because there is power in worship mm-hmm. and we want to do something different for the young people right. because uh, it is only worship when as a change. Watch entertainment. Unja mm-hmm. kuna imbio una ruka ruka then you go home empty. No, mm-hmm. want to impact lives. You know mimi nataka nikuwe mtu ambaye na I want to mentor so many young people. Sure. Wajo kule ambako nimetoka na kule ambapo nimefika so that if anybody ako at whatever level in their life ajue they can still make it to the top. Sure. Hakuna mtu ambaye ako too they are yani wako chini sana that they cannot make it. Mm-hmm. So we have eternal life worship ministry mm-hmm. ambayo tunafanya na we usually meet at Tumaini House. Vision yenu kama itano mm. worship ni gani? Manake mm. wengi watakwambia tunataka kuwa kama South Africa mm. joy joy mm. celebration mm-hmm. whatever band mm. wengine watakwambia nataka kukua hivi lakini nyinyi mm. vision yenu ni gani? Our vision paka tumeandika chini to become the powerhouse of worship among young people across the world. Mm-hmm. So that's our vision to em- power young people mm-hmm. to reach them with the power of worship mm-hmm. across the world we have no boundaries mm-hmm. yes umesema kwa tumaini alikusaidia sana na ninajua atakuwa anatizama hata kama si sasa kupitia kwa, kwa mitandao mm-hmm. atakuwa anaona history ungependa uangalie hiyo camera mm-hmm. and one word to him yeah daddy nashukuru sana unajua you are my permanent destiny connector and i've always told you that and i really thank god because of you what you've taught me i want to also to pass to other young people mm-hmm. so nashukuru sana na mungu akubariki sana amen, amen. kuna wakati ambapo watu watakuona mm. watatamani kuwa kama wewe mm. watatamani kuwa zaidi yako huyu bado namewa bado bado sijaoa mm. na, na i think sasa imekuwa emergency goal ilikuwa anga long term ikakuwa short term emergency Ima, maana inabidi so that uh, <laughs> ministry nisifanye peke yangu <laughs> itabidi Mungu ajibu hiyo maombi haraka haraka mm-hmm. so nashukuru Mungu tunaamini kwamba very soon mm-hmm. mambo itakuwa vizuri mm-hmm. kazi yako mpya ni gani yes uh, thank god for that question mm-hmm. kuna song nimetoa inaitwa na kuitaji i really love that song mm-hmm. nimetambua bila nguvu zako siwezi Nimetambua bila wepo wako siwezi it's on youtube okay. na kuitaji bwana na kuitaji yesu kila siku maisha ni mwangu na kuitaji bwana so anybody you can watch it's on youtube you can go to youtube and watch it search for it button king mm-hmm. search for me on facebook b u r t o n king yani hiyo ni button as search ya b a ama b u t mm-hmm. ni b u r t o n king on facebook and youtube you able to see that song okay hiyo ni poa uh, kuna mtu amekutizama na nimekwambia wengi wana admire kukuwa kama wewe mm. na wengine they are in the process they don't know how mm. but wanaamini kuwa they are going somewhere mm. your advice to them 
delay is not denial. I had to wait for God for so many years before he answered me. Uh, since 2004, I waited for like nine years before I saw my song first on TV. So I want to tell you that as a young person, that uh, the Bible says in Acts that a ten that for Peter and Asema, eventually I know that God shows no favoritism to anyone. But whoever humbles before him, God is able to lift. So I want you to trust in God that your one day, Ilewa Unasema, my one day, it is always ahead of you. And one day, utakuwa place kama penye niko na tukuna bia watu, siku moja nilikuwa sina. But sahi, mungu wa menitendea. Amen. Amen. Nyezi mungu wa kubariki baton. You katika kile ambacho unatamani Amen. akupe matamani ya moyo wako. Asante sana mtazamaji kuchagua kutegia my story. Huwa nasema hapa ndipo mahali unaweza kupata uweza kukua inspired ukajua kuwa ulipo leo kuna matumaini kuwa utasonga mbele. However much it a delay utaipata. Lakini kitu kimoja lazima uendelee kumtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu. Wekwa na milizi mtoko hadi wakati mwingine Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kukubariki.